London is getting back to normal today. Just 24 hours ago, this area was absolutely teeming with people. Hundreds of thousands of mourners coming out here to pay their respects to the Queen. And now here at Buckingham Palace, the cleanup has begun. And Donald Trump is mocking the seating arrangements in Westminster Abbey that put President Biden and First Lady Jill 14 rows back. No respect, he posted. If I were president, they wouldn't have sat me back there. What Trump isn't saying is under British protocol, Commonwealth leaders and other European royal families had to be seated up front. The First Lady is also coming under fire on social media for wearing a fascinator to the funeral, which is frowned upon under the strict rules of funeral etiquette. Seven-year-old Princess Charlotte, who charmed everyone with her poise and dignity, is emerging as a royal rock star. She always seems to know exactly what's expected at exactly the right moment, and she seems to always be schooling her brother in how to behave and what to do. They clearly share a very warm relationship. But boys will be boys. Charlotte's brother, Prince George, was photographed sticking out his tongue after leaving the services at Westminster Abbey. And talk show host John Oliver is speaking out about that joke that was censored when his HBO show was broadcast in Britain last week. We need to start with the UK, which is clearly still reeling from the shocking death of a 96-year-old woman from natural causes. They cut it out. Wow. Well. Which is pretty because ap apparently all we've heard all week is that the Queen had an incredible sense of humour. So. <laughs>